Good evening. Welcome to OA Tigers Field. Uh, um, excuse me, it's the Valentine P. Moscato Stadium. Sorry. Home of the Tigers. So official. Um, again, we want to thank Easton Community Access Television for um, sponsoring tonight's game. We can't say thank you enough for all the towns for broadcasting the game so that we can see them away and the other teams can see them when we're home. And I got a comment on the beautiful new digital scoreboard oh, at yes. Valentine Pima Scholar Stadium. What a pleasant surprise as I pulled up. Yes, and I said, whoa, whoa, what's that? It's a new scoreboard. And I guess it's all ready for all sports. Now, most of the old um, scoreboards are only for football, but this is for all sports. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. Yeah, they could do all the, the digital inclusive. words and all that. Yeah. As you can see, it says against Canton. Fancy. You know, Ken, I hated Sharon, couldn't stand North Attleboro, wanted to smack the hell out of Foxborough. Ken, oh my God, the hatred runs deep. <laughs> 20, 20, 20 something years later. No, oh. more than that. I got in 1990. Tell me all the math. 40? 30. 30. I was 30 playing years Canton. Ago. It's always a great competitive game. And I think tonight's will be just the same. Um, Notice when he knocked the kids. I don't want to tell. Correct. <laughs> I'm glad you think you're so funny. Listen, if you can't make yourself laugh, who can? You? That is true. Nice play by Ben Cohen there. He can't teach speed. Wow, DaCosta. I think the boys are getting a wee bit wet tonight there, Wendell. Just a bit. You know, did it rain all day? Uh, I don't think it was started drizzling in Boston about two hours ago. Hmm. Captain Brady with a whack. And pressing. Stay on him, kid. Something of the whistle. Monday, October 26th. It is a burly, brisk 54 degrees out there. The light rain. Jimmy King. Stand up. Canton Bulldog goalies wearing a sharp red shirt. The OA goalie, uh, Drew Nichols, is rocking the pink. Interesting color pattern for this game called soccer. As I mentioned before, we'll be collecting any donations for Wicked Good Soccer. Um, a Wicked Good Cause, I apologize. Tonight, if you have any spare change, this whole month we'll be collecting for that cause. You'll notice the boys are wearing, I believe, pink masks tonight. Yep, pink for breast cancer. And then um, they also have gray masks for brain cancer. For all you ski lovers out there, my little phone says snow on Friday. That's oh. right, snow. Good God. I love the winter. Bring it. Oops. Any update on the girls' game? Yeah, it has not started at 6.15. Begin. 17.14 left in this first quarter. Nice pass. Great collision, too. Shocked they didn't call that at the uh, COVID rules. Let them play, sir. Let them play. I think Ben got a new haircut. I didn't recognize him there. Yeah, speaking of, I need a COVID haircut, please. Wendy, you are my personal barber now. Yes. Feeling couples moving around. Back to Matt. Up to Kevin. Oh. He's out. One of your credits, one of our sideline reporters, Tom Larson, sent me a uh, Hockamock Boys Soccer League Leaders on HockamockSports.com. And what's going on here? Leading scorer, Mr. Colin Milliken, eight goals. Is there a timeout or something? Where did the goalie go? 
He's off getting something in his bag. It's got to be a cold thing. He's getting a new mask. Oh, he's getting a new mask. Colin Milliken leading the league <clears> with eight goals there, Wendell. Six assists. Leo Co. Leo Co. Eloho from Milford. Six goals, seven assists. Lucas Da Silva, Milford, fourth. Kevin Lewis, all the Reims. Two, he has four goals, three assists. Matias, another OA competitor. Three goals, four assists. Keep it up, boys. Anthony DaCosta and Matthew Nikicek. Wow. We're all over the board. Some strong people. Um, and I believe that Canton is very senior heavy this year also, as with our team. They're also rocking an, un an undefeated record, but they have a couple ties. Yes. Two ties, I believe. So as far as goalies, uh, let's see. Jack Landry, Casey, and Mansfield. Casey? Casey again? My God. Well, yeah, but that's hyphenated. I don't think it's I'm just saying. It's the Casey's. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, three games played, zero goals allowed. Leo Oliveira from Milford, one game, zero goals allowed. Drew Nicola, our very own, away, three games played, zero goals allowed. Giovanni Ruggiero from Canton. Giovanni, can I call you Joe? Six games played, two goals allowed. Eric Sullivan Mansfield, three and one. Brendan Cross, all brains, three games, one goal. Coming out, Kevin Gomes. Very good, boys. Congratulations. Ole, well represented. So record-wise, this will be the boys' toughest challenge thus far. Yes. Man, we kicked the you know what out of the last couple of opponents we played. Very, very fun to watch. Some talented kids on this team. Ooh, a little shove. Letting them play when I like it. I like it. I like it. That bumblebee's letting them play. It has only thumbs to whistle once. I think these are different refs. That against vid protocol. Giovanni calling you Joe. Playing with the ball. Wow. Attacking Risking. I like it. Very risky play. That crazy ball. Though. It's a little showboat. <laughs> One might say, well, when you have a name like Giovanni and you're rocking a sharp red, red shirt, you got to stand out there. Do we know it's Giovanni or is it Matt? I'm just making the guess it's uh, Giovanni. So that's a much more fun name to say than Matt. No offense, Matt. I don't have anybody joining. I don't know if I've done something wrong, but that's in the base. No one's joined us. I thought I, I was I thought I was getting fired after last game, so <laughs> Excuse me. this is all a bonus. Matt. Anthony. Oh. Canton is definitely up for the challenge thus far. That's the ball right there. So I let Aunt Nancy know, my aunt from Florida, um, know that she could watch the game and listen to us. I don't know really if she was able to log on. Is, she, the, a, is she a Facebooker? No, but I just sent her the link. Via email. You realize that there are very few people in this world who are less technical, technical savvy than me. Your Aunt Nancy's one of them. I know. But just in case, Aunt Nancy, a shout out to you. As I told you, I give you a shout out. I like it. Fantastic lady. You've gotten much better over the years with your technical savvy guy. Yeah, right. Excuse me, folks. My father's calling me. You interrupted last game. Well, you know what? When you're 86, you don't give to you know what. <laughs> I suppose you were correct. Okay. Well, he's kicking it out. Yeah, no, I know. Wow, that was just going to drop right before the 50. That's amazing how they can. Do that. Oh, here comes Canton. Challenging. But Ben Cohen. Ooh, that's a little shove. I would say that was a COVID shove. Nice defense by Ben Cohen. Matt. 
Matt fastening it up to Kevin. Back to the center to Matt. And Canton defense kicks it out. Very good about that. They go right on attack when they go for a shot. I believe that was Coach Ferrata giving it a chest. Alrighty. No, that was just on the stats. Oh. Oh, missed opportunity. Okay, away, come back. So the kids, the boys, only have three more games left in the season. The season's been very quick. It just flies. But I have to Absolutely say, flies. it's been. Whoa, good. and Wendy, I'm sorry to interrupt you, my friend, wife, lover, whatever you want to call it. Oh. A roving reporter, Wayne Casey, has reported that I was correct. Oh. Jack Lansbury Casey is the son of one Bridget Casey. Ba-boom. <laughs> Those Caseys are all over the place. That fine Mansfield goalie. Casey's, it has got to be the one of the world's largest families ever. Where are they from, Mansfield? That mean that. I, I know the Caseys are from Easton. But... Yeah, all right, down in couples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Because she's a coach over at uh, Bridgewater State. I just read the stat. I know. It says Mansfield. I'm saying she's a coach at uh, Bridgewater State. Thank you, Wayne. You are quite the heck of a reporter. That number five is a tall kid. He's all over the place. Abdul Barry from Canada. Not coming I, over. I believe I just saw heard Lisa DeVos, Brady's mother, yell, get back. <laughs> you Excuse me. Excuse me, Mrs. DeVos, but I believe there's no coaching from the sidelines. You think I'm But it was a good tip. I was getting a little nervous. He was up very high too, but he was looking to make a play. Trying to switch the field here. Kind of exciting. Uh, Joey Carney with his assist was one of the last entered on this league's scoring leaders, which is kind of cool. Him being a true freshman. I could be wrong. I'm not a coach, but these kids have to follow that shot in because it's going to be a night. They might be bubbled. Ken's definitely uh, so far the most formidable defense that uh, always been up against. Jimmy King and take him out of his own hands. I like them There's making that number those five runs. again. I can number five on Ken. Good. I just squeeze them. Tias and Jimmy squeeze number them. Number six on Ken, rocking the soccer flow. I bet she's wearing a headband. If our son ever wore a headband, I'd have such an issue with that. All right, I think it's cool. I don't. Well, that's you, Ken. <laughs> that's just the way it is. So I Jorge know. Sanchez with the kick in. Still yet to have a COVID core. Kind of looking forward to one. Kevin, you, one? you mentioned about Thanksgiving. I don't know what's going to happen with Thanksgiving this year. Not a COVID core one. Let's go, bro. Oh, that's not close. I think that was an errant kick by the captain. Yes, Wayne, I think you are correct. These are definitely two new reps. Oh, got to get rid of that ball. I thought we were close, having the window closed. Oh gosh, don't press the press. 
Jimmy Keen, our sideline reporter, checking in. They're making their runs. Ooh, I see Anthony DaCosta and Kevin have switched sides. Number five, Abdul Barry, just as a, a vacuum playing in the middle of the other field. Every time all he gets in there, he knocks the ball out. Yeah. They're definitely squeezing. I think that's my word for the night, squeezing. Because they are. Look at them. They're squeezing. They come in. Well, Olay's think... offense comes in, and they're crashing. Again, not being a soccer expert, Ole is quite the heck of the offense. I think these teams realize they got to go into a defensive shell with any other hope. Well, they're collapsing, if you see. Like, see, now they're all... If someone's dribbling in, they all collapse in. Sure. Go, 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 go. Kevin's calling. Let's see. Oh, nice oh, pass to Kevin. Kevin. Here we go. Oh, get your foot on it. Oh, so close. I like how these bumblebees are letting the boys play. They could have called a couple of COVID contacts. And it um, looks like the girls and away, girls away and Canton are about to start. Excellent. 5.33 left to go in this first quarter. Are you telling that by your new scoreboard? By the new scoreboard. That is fancy. There's a kick. Oh, just a little wide. Just a bit outside. really want us to know what the names of the goal. Oh, wait a minute. This kid actually has a number. But it doesn't match to the uh, roster. <laughs> uh, why? Is it one? Well, it says zero for Giovanni, and then zero slash 32, Matt and McDonough, but it says one. Oh, we can make sure this one. Maybe can as special oh, math. There it goes. Tia's got a shot on. Oh. oh. I think I'm going to be there by the post. Good pressure. Keep it up, boy. A substitution coming in. Looks like Kevin's going to come out. Is that Joey coming in? Oh, no. Is Ryan Ventura. Is Michael Eichel hurt again? Or is he out there? No, his brother Christian's hurt. That's right. My bad. Pause in the action. Not the COVID contact. Oh, and he thumbed the whistle. Let him play, dude. Oh, no. Well, it's for us, and there was a little shove. I mean, there was a clear shove there. Kevin got smacked going going for the goal, and this uh, bumblebee over here didn't uh, thumb it. Why'd that guy thumb it? Because it was going for the ball, and he clearly shoved him. Ooh, that was sneaky. Nice, Jimmy. Oh, oh, nice. Nice, Matt. Nice and aggressive. Oh. Yeah, man. Can't teach speed, money. I'll say it again. That kid is fast. Yes, and I do believe we got a new yak. Oh! Almost a Marsha Brady. Oh, my nose. That wasn't a head goal. Oh, sir. That didn't even come close to his head. Tease his dad, not happy. Mm -hmm. Turns it. Good, Jimmy. Take yourself, Jim. Nice, Jimmy. Have a shot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh the thumb the whistle, sir. All right, the guy on the right over here, he's letting him play. Oh. 
Team defense not talking. Hey, Coach Broad is not like the way the boys just kind of slapping at the ball. So back to Thanksgiving. What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to eat my face off. I know, but do you think people are going to be able to have, I mean, what do you think they... Uh, I don't see people judgment. like coming up from like, different towns and all that. I just don't. Maybe like direct family, brothers, sisters, but as far as cousins and you know, your Aunt Sally you only see once a year. I mean, the turkey chase has already been, it's virtual. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a fun tradition in Easton. Turkey tur chase. Another victim of the day. Ooh. A little stutter there. Ooh, nice ball. Oh, nice try, Matias. Like the aggression. Yeah. <laughs> Update on the girls? They're there. Oh, we're at the two minute the clock has time stopped. for the, for the uh, quarter. 52 degrees. Looks like the slight rain has stopped as well. Oh, getting pushing up a little bit now. Yep. There we go. I can't believe it's going to get there. Oops. Sporting my new OA mask. Put out there by the class of 2023, right? Mm -hmm. communication going on there out the field. Oh, nice play. That was interesting. How did that get over there? Giovanni, can I call you Joe? Giovanni Bernard of St. Louis, Cincinnati Bengal fame. Oh, that's the end of the quarter. That's the end of the quarter. So at the end of one, nothing, nothing. Okay, the beginning of the second quarter. Gearing up. Oh, geez, sorry about that. And our neighbor and good friend Peter Comar has checked in, commenting us on our broadcast. Yeah. Lady Wendy, I like that nickname. Giovanni Joe with the save. So you think Coach Barada came up with some sort of strategy when to change up the dynamic of the team? Overcome Canton's collapsing on, on the ball. Yeah. See, here's the thing about soccer. Oh. You got that one ball Yeesh. to go through. I forgot they switched sides. I almost was cheering for them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Drew oh, Nicola with the kick just under the 50-yard mark. It's 54 degrees. Foggy at the start of the second quarter. 19, 7, 6, 5. Kevin, I think you should be a weatherman. I love to be a weatherman because I could continually be wrong and still what get What just paid. happened with that, sir? What was wrong with that? Uh, his thumb and the whistle way too much. It's been about a minute. We've already had three thumbs. Put your thumb away, sir. Put your thumb away. Both bananas are conversing for something. Okay, let's try this again. Take two. Want to commend the uh, folks here. All the spectators are keeping their masks on. Got to beat this thing. Keep the mask on. Over to Colin. Trying to add to his league-leading offensive output. Woo! Oh, oh Matt, up in the Matthew. air. Oh, oh, no. Could be an issue. Oh no. No, it's good. No oh, good. I like it. I like the aggressiveness. That was you got some air on that. Alright, Matt, you're 
drill this. Drill it. I wish we had like a telestream like Pat Summerall and John Madden used to have and I could say wow and I could circle stuff and then draw them, you know? That would be very like I'd say, exciting. Right here you see the keeps just got the ball. The ball's right there. They have to kick it. Thanks, John. He needs to lob it. Bend it, it up like Beckham. And over into one of the corners. Bend it like Beckham. Matt has a nice laser shot that will stay right on the ground. Oh, 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 all right! Goal! Oh, that was pure that power, was. Wendy. That was pure power. Nice job, Matty. The captain takes care of business on his own. That was just unlucky bounce for the Canton goalie, but to our advantage. Yes. He's probably living in a world of regret right now, saying, why didn't I catch the ball instead of trying to push it? Well, I, I don't think he tried to. I think it bounced off of him. It was just a hard hit, and it bounced right, off his chest. Right. That's one. Hey, Bowdy, that's one. And then that's two. Oh, Oh, this is interesting what Canton's doing. They're Number all... 11, Will Keefe. They're starting from the side. Number four now, uh, Jorge Sanchez. Always trying to get them off sides here. There you go, Drew. Drew. Cool, calm, and collected. Catch. If that was a turkey leg, he ate that right up. See, now you got me thinking about Thanksgiving one. Thanks. Oh, fire it! Fire it! Where in God's name did... Oh, nice defense by Canton. Just, Where do you like, get these quotes? I just kind of make them up. Except this Again, one I'm not going to make useless up. Useless mold. This one I'm not going to make up. Girl, you look so good. So I get me a biscuit. No. Shoot. I blew it. <laughs> Rewind. Nope. Oh, I blew it. Over. Oh, that was fancy moving. Oh. Girl, you look so good. So I'm going to put you in gravy. I can suck you up with a biscuit. Oh, good God. <laughs> Coming to America. Arsenio Hall. What happened to Arsenio that's Hall? That's a good movie. I like that movie. But what happened to Arsenio Hall? I don't know. I mean, after that movie, it's kind of like, that, that, that was it. Oh, Maddie going for that number two. Oh, please stop. That was a song. I understand it. Bark like a dog. Bark like a big dog. Okay. Stop. We don't need quotes from you. People like coming to America. We do. I know. Maddie with a lap. Defense foul right there. Oh, oops. Getting after it. Oops, Daisy. Unintentional shove. Number seven, Eric Valdovino. So Ken kind of had a horror look on his face. He just got bumped, kid. He just got bumped. That's a nice kick. Just hung in the air there. That's Rachel Rochardi's kid. You might like his name said. It's Hector. Hector, that's right. Now I wonder if on that sign they say who got it. Because I think I see, yeah, I see Northeast. I wonder if Northeastern Savings Bank. The new Northeastern Savings Bank. With the funky uh, sign. They combined forces with the bank in Brockton. Four, kind of giving him Michael Jordan, like I just hit another one. I don't know what I'm doing. I believe they're trying to figure out if it's the director. So, COVID kick, not a COVID corner, but still a COVID kick. Because you can't touch that ball. Good luck playing oh. basketball, by the way, all you OA people. What happened there, sir? What was the rules there? I guess you have to kick it. You can't play it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think. I think. I don't know. Just, the redo. I don't know what happened there. Because I don't think he allowed the kid. To touch the ball. 
was like oh. yeah. I don't know if it was, it was Matthias. Way too early, I'm not sure. That yeah, must have been that. If it didn't... Here you go, Drew. Nice back in position. Good play in the Seneca. <laughs> Screaming like that. Kevin driven it up. To Matias. Oh, when he gets by. Fire it. Have it. Oh. 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 I would say there's a little bit of shoving there. I was not mistaken. But guess what it resulted in, Kevin? Our first COVID corner kick of the night. I love saying that. <laughs> COVID corner, not a corner, a COVID corner. <laughs> but I think that these kids have kind of figured it out. You see that number nine um, from Canton, Colton, rushes the ball as soon as they kind of tap it. There's going to be a player there rushing the shot. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Ooh, try to fancy footwork for uh, Kevin. Pass that ball, Kevin. Pass oh, that ball. That's oh a trip. that wasn't Thumb a that. trip. Thumb oh, that. my goodness. Thumb that banana. Let's go. What was that? How did I call that? I don't know. Even I know what that was. That was a trip. Actually, I believe it was a shove, not a trip. Shove, trip, 44-45, whatever it takes. Another great movie, Mr. Mom, Michael Keaton. Fantastic. I like that movie, too. I decided our family watches too much TV. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And movies. We watched The Great Pumpkin last night. Oh, it was I fantastic. Love, love that. Little uh, we family. We used to carve our pumpkins while watching right, that Little movie. family bonding time. Do you know I don't think that that's on regular TV this year? I think that it's... That's because it did. I don't think so. I, well, I, I just think that it's going to be on... Um, or maybe in this politically correct Netflix. world. Netflix. They don't like the idea of a, uh, a Great Pumpkin. I think it's just, it's on one of the, um, like, ne Netflix or one of those channels. Why are you just punching me? <laughs> Honey, we are the voice of the people. All I said was the, the politically correct world. It's a mid world and politically correct. Oh, Ooh, nice oh, pass. oh, oh, nice try. I'm trying not to say that. Ooh, ah, ah. Bing, bang, ball, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, bing, bang, 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 bang. The Keens relatives. I saw the little shot there. The Keens relatives from um, California was watching and said the wife only says ooh and ah. So I'm trying Excuse to me, not do R. ooh and ah. You've been dubbed Lady Wendy. To Cindy's brother. Giant fan. Great guy. Great guy. Great guy. Oh, we definitely yes. starting to get some more pressure. Nice kick in. Nice little kick in is going to happen. Ten minutes left in the second quarter. 54 degrees, foggy. Coach Rada barking out orders. Kevin, what is happening? What's happening? Oh, we have our second COVID corner kick. Hi, Aunt Nancy. And Nancy's checking in from Florida, folks. There it is. Over the middle. Kicked out. Hit that ball, Matthew. <laughs> okay. I have to go, Aunt Nancy, but we'll give you a little shout out. Up, Aunt Nancy from Florida's watching. Colin Milliken trying to increase the lead. Diddling, diddling. That was my aunt from Florida, as I told you she was going to chime in. See, Nancy, Kevin didn't give you any credit that you could press the link to I'm watch. very impressed. You know what else is impressive, Wendy? Not a sponsor, but this vivacious, vivacious hand sanitizer. Yes, you do like the hand sanitizer. Oh, you can smell that for a while, get a little buzz action going. Oh, jeez. Where is it getting? It has 75% ethyl alcohol. Dylan making the ball move around a little. Tia's going for another run. 
And your favorite, Kevin. Another Clover Corner kick, number three. One, two, three. Okay, stop hitting the counter. I get very excited for the Clover Corner. I'm I, sorry. We all know you get excited about the Clover Corner. How could you not? It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ah, a little chipper right there. Oh, oh. Uh, Giovanni, the man with the plan. Come on, boys. Get the next goal. That's all I ask. It's judgment call. Us Brett too. getting some uh, grief from the uh, raucous and rowdy OA crowd. Well, like I said, a little judgment call on who that should have been towards. Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, if I was Howard Stern, I would do a full-on belch. News from the Howard Stern world today, Ronnie the Limo Driver, that's right, Mund, is leaving the show. Ooh, look at that. Hang in the sky there. Down by Dylan. He and his wife are moving to Las Vegas. Someone got to hit him with the high. So to give an update on our friends that were driving cross country, they finished their trip today. The Hernandez family, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. very awesome. California, I think that's a great trip to do. They started out, took two weeks to cross the country, and to stop at. They're arguing. Along. I want to know: did he, did he call himself Bob, lead singer and driver of the Winnebago? I don't know. Jake, hello. Blues he Brothers. Doing, he's bringing it up. Passes it up. You've, you've never seen the Blues Brothers? No. Nope. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, I failed you a thousand. One of the funniest movies of all time. Hector. Is it Colin? It does look like we've done a little bit of position, repositioning of players. It was working earlier in this uh, COVID quarter number two, but now it seems like Ken's kind of figured it out. It's a chess match, Wendy. It's a chess match, if you will. One coach versus the other coach. You ying, I'm going to yang. You zig, I'm going to zag. Doesn't it look like we figured out how to do the score on the scoreboard because... Well, it is so new. Changed it. It, it is so one new. One zero away. Yes, it is so new. Maybe the kid over there doesn't even have the uh, controls. They literally got it today. I have to ask Bill Matthews. 555 to go, 554, 53. Oh, wide open. Canton busting it out. Brady to Captain DeVos comes up and says, I'm shutting that door right now. Yes, break up that run. An Easton kick in. Still 54 degrees and, and foggy. I'm thinking by now it would get a lot colder. I wonder what temperature is down in Florida. Why don't you look? Oh. Look what's palm. In Nueva York. My favorite to see you, Dad. It is 57 degrees. Mm -hmm. Lincoln, New Hampshire. It's rainy, 39, and cloudy. Of course, it'd be cloudy if it was raining. Could it be raining and not cloudy? Of course. A sun shower, Wendy. A sun shower. Bretton Woods. Oh, it's raining. Do you mean foggy or cloudy? Waterville Valley. Okay, I don't. I just asked about Florida. Skipper has 15 houses. Number three is up in Waterville. Excuse me, number two. My bad. Freezing drizzle. Getting ready to snow. Killington. Oh, lovely Killington, Vermont. Home of your fellow Hector pushing of your it classmates, up. Kelly and Rocco Holmes. Oh, you asked about Michael Heichel. I believe that's Michael Heichel out there right now. Excellent. Number six. See now that Abdul Barry from Ken is now pushing up. He's quite the player. Killington's 41. Carabasset Valley. That would be where, uh, what you call this, where we went the other year. Gunsock. Went up socky. Bartlett, in beautiful Hilton Head Island in South Carolina, um, 70 degrees. 
Sunny. Someday. Any other questions, folks? You just chime right in. No, I don't see any place here that we can... Um, we have no one calling in today. Well, it is kind of a dreary, uh, you know, night. Maybe people just don't feel like watching. You never know. Maybe we've lost our... Well, no. We are our buddy Kill Martin checked in. Wayne, our best silent reporter, he uh, checked in. Okay. Apparently, fine. Bowdy has checked out. It's a lot of leaping up there. We didn't go any leaf oh. keeping this year. Carabasset Sugarloaf. The loaf. Thank you, Pete. Thank you again. Sugarloaf. I'll never forget that last year when my darling daughter Mary and I rounded the corner and we both went, ah, because there it was. Huge mountain. Now the Robinsons have a place up there. Basically, I feel like I have a house now. I have a house on the Cape. I have a house up in Maine. Beautiful. That was another nice shot. Fire that! Oh, oh, a little too high by Matthias. It's too high. It's too. What do you mean? It's, it's too high. What, what do you mean? It's too high. Major League! Come on, Wendy. If you didn't know, not only is Kevin an expert at wine, he's an expert at useless knowledge and quoting from movies. I don't know about an expert at anything, but you know. Thanks for the compliment, Lady Wendy. Giovanni, wow. He's under 50. That's right. A chest. Not a head, a chest. Why they found the whistle? Oh, come on, dude. Because Matt was behind him and gave him a little. Oh, be consistent. Don't let him play once and then the next four contacts blow it. Excuse me, thumb it. There's Matthias. Nice. Matt. That's like a long pass to an even attempt. Costa. Okay. That's the first thumbing I actually agree with because it did happen from behind. Two minutes left with the uh, crazy non clock clock. So we don't know. It could be a minute left. could be 30 seconds left. could be a minute 59. We just don't know. Never, or the bananas know. Never will. It's the secret. Maddie with the lap. Oh, oh. Over. Over. In. Oh. Brady wanted to head that oh so bad. I know. Taking that heading. Head with the nails. Taking that heading away really changes the game. Julie has. Kevin. It's a COVID corner number four. Our COVID corners, not saying sponsored Wendy, not saying oh, sponsored by Wendy. Oh, almost. But everyone sponsored by the COVID world. We just live in it. Exactly. Well, like keeping the pressure up, Ken's kind of nullified uh, Ole's major rush at the beginning of the second quarter. But the defense on Ole is still doing his job. Can't have a tough time breaking through. Giovanni Bernard, the whack. Mikey Heike, Michael Heiko, Mikey, little Mikey. Mm -hmm. Universe. Uh, update on the girls game there, Lady Wendy? Zero, zero. I don't know where we are in the game. I don't have a time going on. Zero, zero? Who's winning? <laughs> You're so funny. The Bears. Swing, bada bada bada. Hey, bada bada. Swing, bada bada. What? Oh. Well, the funniest part of Ferris Shot Bueller. right outside the box. Drew's going to eat this up. The funniest part of Ferris Bueller is when Mr. Rooney gets in the bus, he looks up, and the graffiti says, Rooney. Oh, that's the end of the half. Oh, I'm so sorry, kid. I'm wow. so sorry. Well, sorry, Ooh. not sorry. Really not sorry at all. Mr. Rooney looks up on the top of the bus and it says, Rooney eats it. Hysterical. And the girl gives him a gummy bear. She says, Chewy. It's been in her pocket all day. <laughs> so, at halftime, we have a 10 minute break. One to nothing. Your Auburn Siders.
Hey, we're back, all of you in Eastern Cable Land. Coach Brada did do the traditional goalie change. Brennan Cross is now in the net. Again, rocking the pink shirt. I wish you wear like a black shirt, but then you can't do that because then you would know who the goalie was as opposed to the other uh, players. Correct. They wear black when they're away. Uh -oh. We're here, waiting for the third quarter to start. There's the thumbing of the whistle, and we're off. At halftime, I was reading about my beloved New York Giants. I still want to punch Evan Egram in the face for dropping that pass. Danny Dimes put it right on his hands, went right in his hands for the game winner. He dropped it. But you're one in six, these things happen. Of course, the Patsies are two and four, so we're all in the same world right now. You should hear all the bandwagon jumping off the bandwagon. Oh, look, they figured out how to change the score. Hey, they he's got one for nothing. Excellent. Over to Dylan. Oh, there's that kid. Oh, there's no, number five. He's crushing it. Cross over to the boss. Hey, is that kind of rhyme? Cross to the boss? I don't know if it really rhymes. Well, the Voss part does. Cross Voss, not duh. Is that Mikey? Or is that Matt? That was Dylan. Oh, oh deflection, deflection, deflection. Pay me. Lawyer's salary. Name that commercial. I wouldn't have any idea, Kevin. Life from the 70s? Come on. Okay, it's your favorite thing. It is COVID corner kick number five. You break this counter, I'm not paying for it. You're gonna have to pay for it. Oh, he's a rich system. They're fine. Oh, put it in force. Yes. Oh, oh, I feel bad for him. Oh, that wow, is that was lucky. That was my, my favorite player there. I feel oh. bad. The kid is all over it. Oh, that Yikes. stinks. But again, you know what? Give credit to the COVID kick. That was a yeah. blast. Yep. And we'll take it. Exactly. Abdul just couldn't handle it. Good that try, stinks. though, kid. He's having a heck of a game. Yep. I do feel bad for him. Very unlucky. Make that score two to nothing. Oliver Reigns, Tigers. Cool. Well, I don't feel like we should say a goal on that one. Why? It's a goal. I know, but... I'll say it. Goal! Oh! Look at my Peter Brady. Time to change. Speaking of the Brady Bunch, I love the Brady Bunch. Not many show. people watch it anymore, but... Why? Our kids all watched it. Of course. Good old American wholesome fun. Mary, three girls, three Mary was actually saying that she'll say to people, I'll bop you. And everybody looks at her sideways like, what are you talking about? Lucy Clearly no one has Colorado. watched. And then you're right. And then Cindy uh, Brady. Cindy. Cindy. Oh, so nice cute. pass. Lead over. Oh, nice. Cameron Tia's Giovanni getting there. coming up. Oh, oh yeah. That, that was some nice passing. Ricky Taylor thinking, do I get the ball? Do I snap a photo? What do I do? She is great. She comes to every boys game and snaps the photos. Sure. So our roving sideline reporter, Jimmy Keene, thought it was necessary and a good idea to mention that the powers that be of the Hockamock League have come up with a postseason tournament. Since the vid took away the state tournament, we're going to have something called the COVID Cup. <laughs> well, it's not really called the COVID Cup, but we like to call it the COVID Cup. Technically, it's a Hockamock Cup, but it's, yeah. it's going to be the, the COVID Cup. So it's going to be... Uh, I believe what I read is all teams are going to make it. It's like a round-robin tournament, or it might be just the top three in each division. I have to get back to you on that one, folks. I can actually read up on it for you if you'll take the coverage of the game. Sure, so I'll take it for you. Kevin Lewis wanting that ball back. Congested in the middle. All way defenders, all over that kid, like a white on his back. Danielle Kilmartin's actually watching with us. Hello, actually? Danielle. Actually? I said actually. You said actually. On Facebooker? Yes. Excellent. Hello, Danielle, wife of our good friend and neighbor. Oh, Ooh. that kid's angry. That duel's angry. Kind of can't blame him.
Groundhog Day, Bill Murray. Don't don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. That's a great movie. Watch that first step. It's a doozy. Oh, okay, I got the article. I'm looking. Abdul and Will Keith looking what to do. Abdul with a lap. Captain Devosh is saying, give me that. Ooh, 25. Wide right. Not even a field goal. Cross with the pelota. Who got El Goli? With a lap. Out of bounds. I guess that was kind of a bad kick. But what are you going to do? Over kicking, Matty Boy with the shoulder and the chest, and not use the head. Beginning on November 12th. Final standings in each division. Kelly Rex and Davenport determine the opening round opponent in the opposite division for each school. The top four seeds in top each division right. will compete in the championship bracket. Seeds five and six will play a consolation bracket. This guarantees each varsity and JV squad two postseason games. The higher seed will host the varsity game in each round of the tournament. Based upon field availability and timing, the JV game will most likely play at the opposite site. Very exciting. Thank you so much for working hard to get that going. I agree. Very good for the kids. So... All you people out there, use your brains. Do not have a massive Halloween party and blow it for every kid in this school that's playing a sport. Because if your son and daughter was playing a sport, you wouldn't be doing that. Now would you, Wendy? Um, no. But each his own. You got to do what you got to do. Just got to be smart. Common sense, people. Common sense. That's all I ask. And how I feel is, and don't send your kids. Right? Got to worry about yourselves. Very true. At this time of I think that everybody world, in the world needs to worry about themselves. To each his own. Uh, my boss's uh, town got shut down because of an errant high school party. A lot of towns have. A lot of sports have and everything. It's, it's a shame. They're also saying how a lot of kids are having a very difficult time learning. That's a given because the whole remote thing, but I like the hybrid model. That Ooh, to Canton is getting very aggressive down here in the box. They have no choice. They're down two, Wendell. And their team ends up in the third quarter. Court. Abdul said, no, no, uh, 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 oh my God, what was that commercial? With the Kembe Mutombo? Uh, 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 uh. Useless knowledge, my friend. I don't know. Oh, oh down with number Anthony six. DeCosta. Jacob Crugnally took out Anthony DaCosta. Crugnally got a little something going on in that attitude, huh? He just crugged him. Yep, we're telling him to calm down. Oh, give me yellow. Come on, Bumble. Give me yellow. Do it. Do it. He wouldn't do it. Captain DeVos. That's an elbow right there. He has such a nice shot in. It seems to be 0-0 zero, zero the half for the girls game. All right. We got two. Come on, boys. Anthony. Oh, nice oh. play. Oh. oh, just a little high. So one of our sideline reporters is failing us tonight, Chris Bowdy Boudreau. I just gave him the ultimate line, and that's two. And uh, he's blowing a one. He's I'm going to see if he can come through. He's not chiming in. Not chiming in. Giovanni Bernard with the kick. Under the 50 feet. 50 yards, I mean. Away, laps on the ball. Colin doing his thing. Fiddle and diddle. Takes it back. Might have an immediate pass. Is that Hector still in over there? 
documentary with Joey Carney, but I believe it is still an actor. Joey plays him. That's right, that's right. I think it's great to see that OA has a very active bench. A lot of the kids are getting in. Keep them all involved and game ready. Fancy footwork by Mr. DaCosta. Abdul said, nope. Not on my watch. Probably not listening to Mr. Ben Cohen. Okay, here's a kick down. COVID kick, not a COVID corner, but a COVID kick. Not throw that ball, kid. Do not throw that ball. So I learned the other day that um, the administration has decided that they are not having mid-years or finals. What? Yeah, so it's just the term grades. Really? I said, that's kind of nice. No midterms or finals? Not fire too shabby. I'll fire up with kids. I know. I don't know if they quite know that yet. Not too shabby. Hey! Oh, I love turkey. Oh. You said not too shabby. I guess who is? Okay, Ben, let's see your defensive magic here. Don't let him pass. There you go. Nice job, Ben. Ben Colin getting it done. Playing like a minister of defense. Turkey, turkey, come on. Oh, I love turkey. You're not Adam Sandler, sorry. Well, he Stop. sings very high at the end. I understand. Gibble, gibble, gibble. Gobble, gobble, gibble. Colin. <laughs> I'm eating turkey. Up to Matthias. <laughs> I run the sneaker or something. <laughs> he does something that can't be mentioned with the turkey oil. I, he has to have so much fun. COVID corner, COVID corner. I didn't watch that movie. Did you end up watching that movie that he just did? Going on Netflix? No, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. It, um. Sandler's phenomenal. Never, he'll never Do you think he better. just has fun doing all his movies? No, no, because he does it with all his buddies. It's like John Alwyn. When you get to a certain point, you can make movies with all your friends. Ooh, up in the air? Oh, oh, they oh, oh nice that save was, by Gangle. That's technically a uh, head. No, it was a shoulder. Well, these kids head. are really adept at the shoulder. I told you, they give a little push with the shoulder. The same momentum as a header. Adapt and overcome, just like Clint Eastwood in Heartbreak Ridge. One thing that I have to say that um, someone had pointed out, that last year... Nope. Oh the end of the year the poor seniors you know the town got together and was very supportive of the 2020 seniors and i think that we've kind of gotten used to this covid a little bit and i think that we have to mention our seniors this year i mean they're gonna pretty much miss their entire senior year all their events well we're hoping that come the spring they can still do a prom and all that but you know i don't i don't know I hope so. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I, oh I know defense. Ben Cohen says, not on my watch. A <laughs> defense shuts the door again. Well, let's be optimistic here, Wendell. I know, but my point is, is that I think we need to be supportive of these seniors. They're having a tough time. They're having to apply to colleges without seeing the colleges because they can't go on tours. Um, you know, they're not having their hockamock. I mean, their homecoming dances. Of oh, that was nice at a shoulder, nice kick. very nice shoulder by Brady. Watch that handball, oh. sir. Hit the thumb the whistle. He did. OA defense, OA goalkeeping, working together. They tried to start it off Six, a little 17 quick. left in this third COVID quarter. So do you think the trophy for the COVID Cup would be like a big, massive mask, like a golden mask? <laughs> Oop. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 
That was a nice kick. Uh, I probably should have had it. Yep. Tough one. Shake it off, kid. Nope. Two to one now. Starting the game there. Two to one now. Six minutes to go. That was just a heck of a kick. But even though he's my son, my immediate reaction maybe he should have had it. But you know what, Wendy? These things happen. They do. That was quite a quick, nice laser. Freaking laser beam. Lots of yelling going on out there. Well, I think Canton's very excited. They're ready to come back. 2 1, tight game. Nope. Too high, too high, my friend. All right, boys. Now don't get uh, don't get all fired up now. Keep your game going away. Substitution. Ryan comes out, and who just came back in? Um, Anthony, I believe. Nice chest. It's amazing how much they can jump up in the air. Right, will Anthony get there? What? Oh. What was that called? Less than five oh, minutes to go. It's getting a little rowdy up there. The crowd is getting a little rowdy. The ref giving a warning to the crowd. And that is not like getting contested. Oh, uh -oh. it's not it again. Uh oh. That be a technical foul? I think the ref is going to speak to the coach. To admonish the crowd? Yep. Then don't make a stupid call. Oh, I think it's the athletic director. Phil Matthews is coming over in his buggy. Well, ref, you make bad calls, you're going to get the um, Who's he tossing? crowd rate or rowdy. I don't think he's tossing anybody. I think he's just giving a warning to the crowd. Well, what could possibly happen? He's just, Bill will come over and give us a warning. and no. Well, good thing for you and I were up here in this booth. I know. I'd probably be down there getting screamed at right now. Well, certainly. Thank goodness for this window. Buggy. Is he gonna drop the hammer? I'm really curious. Oh, I'm, I'm over the window just a little bit. See, see, see. Oh, okay. Matthew's saying, folks, we've been warned by the referee. Now he's pantomime with his hand to calm down. Tranquilo, if you will. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Oh, now he's coming over talking to a couple of the parents specifically. Having another whistle. Comes Jimmy Keen. All right, that was kind of boring, but Bill got Bill got done what he wanted to get done. It's getting a little rough out there. I think the boys are getting a little anxious on both up. sides. Oh, oh, that was that was a close shoulder. Uh oh. The All goalie's right. trying to get the everybody calm down, get into place. Keeper from away, he's got everyone in their position, telling them where to go. Let's go, boys.
Let him go off sides. Oh, no, he can't because those boys are in the net. So they can't do a wall due to the bid, right? Correct. But we have two players in the net to help out. So now it will... Um... Oh, goodness. Oh, over. That's a save, boys and girls. That That's a save. save. Come on, boys. Clock is uh, stopped at two two minutes there, Wendy. Two to one, away. Boot down. There you go. Come on, Kev. Come on, Kev. So Matthew's still patrolling the sideline, making sure this crowd calms yes, down. Yes, I don't think he's leaving that position the rest of the game. Let's see if we can get some uh, post-game interviews with him. Nice catch by the OA goalie. Showing off that arm. Momentum's definitely shifted to our Canton. Well, I just think they're coming out aggressive. It's a very aggressive game. Always got to pass the ball. Come on, Colin. Yep. Not a lot of chance to be playing around. Let's see if Coach Brock can't come up with some new formation. Pierce that can't He's not going to switch the formation in the middle of the game. Why not? Think outside don't the that. box, Wendy. Think outside the box. You don't do that. Go with the 3-4-1. Uh, you don't do that. Not in the middle of the game. You don't do that. Even my, with my little knowledge of coaching, you don't do that. But Rocky switched from southpaw to righty. The second time he fought Apollo, it confused the schlitz out of him. Notice I said Schlitz is in the beer. That is a movie. Not the bad word. That is a movie. Well, that that happens. Sometimes boxers switch. Uh. Don't know how much time is left. Oh, is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. Another quarter. All right, we're back. Final quarter. Okay, let's see if everybody's calmed down. So Coach Broad decided to pull the goalie after one goal. Don't know if I get that, but hey, he's the coach. Good hands with Drew. Great job, Brendan Thomas. So we got two to one. Let's see how the boys do in this final quarter. Okay, here we go. 52 degrees. It has gone down two degrees. 1953 left to go in the fourth quarter. And Wendy, you are correct. AD is still on the sideline patrolling. Nice kick up by Hector. Come on, boys. We got to pass that ball. Come on, boys. Some nice there passes there. Over to there Anthony. Oh. Uh. Colin was almost there to get the chip. But the can defenseman came up and knocked it away. Anthony's got your favorite, Kev. Cove corner kick time. <laughs> oh, chip that in. Ah.
Goalie kicks it in. And the required 50 yards. Comes the whistle again. Maybe to control the chippiness, the rest going to start thumbing and everything. Oh. Now that would be illegal in the COVID world. Good sportsmanship right there. I'd like to see it. Get another indirect kick. Oh, I like that little flip up. Good pass. Ooh, almost. Oh, someone's hurt. Andy boy, he's okay. <laughs> Adjusting his shoes. Referee giving a little time to catch his breath. 16 25 to go in the fourth quarter. That's a risky, risky pass. Jacob Crugnally all over for Ken. Back to Brady. Making it up. Nice, Anthony. What was that? I don't think we're getting any calls now. No, I, think, I, don't I think, think the refs so. are really upset with the uh, crowd. You know, if you're going to be a ref, especially at the high school level, grow a thick skin, will you, dude? Crowd trying to cheer on the boys, hearing some smatterings of go away. Just wish the kids could be in these in these games. Oh, nice defense with. That's how you help out. Help them goalie out. The other girls game when the boys came and they were sitting outside the fence and just to hear the high school kid cheering Amen. was very very cool. It's not the same. Usually we have a nice fan section. Exactly. Hopefully with the COVID Cup, they'll uh, let some more spectators in. Nice kick by Drew. Nice stop by Brady. Trying to get something going here. Look, I'm supposed to... Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that was a bend -em like Beckham that kick. That was a definite bend -em like Beckham. Wow. There you go, Kevin. That's what we need to see. Can I see a little bit more of that, OA? The goalie was frozen. He was like, yes. what do you do? I don't think anybody from Canton's chirping again. <laughs> yeah, that was something awesome. Yeah. 3-1, to one, o OA up Oof. two. I think that just surprised everybody. That just bent at the last second. Did you see it curve around? Yes, the uh, maneuver pass him. Just that was it. amazing. Bend a leg, Beckham. Make that score three to one away. There you go. 
Come on, call him. Come on, boys. We got three. Make it four. A little bit more of a breathing room. Now, being up two goals, do you think away we'll go into a defensive shell now? Former soccer coach Wendy. Yeah, they still have thirteen minutes. They're trying to get up the score just a little bit. Thirteen minutes to go, three to one, according to our fine new scoreboard, digitally enough. I think, Kevin, to go into defensive shell right now, Canton's being so aggressive that I think that there would just be a chance of a breakdown. That's why you're the best color person. Excuse me. Play Whoa, play person. that was a laser shot just a in little high. League, Miss Wendy. Lady Wendy, as Kilmar. Oh, you. back in the day. That was fun coaching. Yes, it is. If you have a young son or daughter, I highly recommend you coach in whatever sport you can coach them in. Most definitely. Memories of a lifetime, I'll tell you. You do have to have a thick skin, though. That's for sure. No doubt. Pragnally. Nice work by Jared DeVos. I see Lisa DeVos has moved down to this side of the field. Oh, she's Jared. giving Brady. Jared. She's Jared's, Jared's his father. That's Brady. Idiot. Why did you say Jared? I said Jared. Oh. I didn't even notice. Sorry, Brady. I would never have done that. But your mother has moved down to this side of the field to do it. I just heard coaching. it. Brady! <laughs> I love it. Do you know she lost a coin toss last home game and had to drive their daughter up to club practice, but yet it was Jared's turn to drive, and she in turn missed Brady's seeing goals. Brady goes. Yeah. So I don't think she's driving to club anymore. i got to say I agree with you on that one. <laughs> Ten fifty three to go. 50, 40, oh, 52, back to 52. What, you think it inked up a degree? It well, it's just shame, but then it just uh, went right back down. COVID kick in. Not a corner, a kick in. Not to touch that ball. Nice help with the defense. Nice job. That's a nice little punt out with Drew, and the defense helped out. COVID kick in. Trying to bend it like Beckham. Bent a little bit too much. Not... Nice save by Drew. Is that Matias running up? Not a cold corner. No, nope, just a kicking. Okay, and just kicks it out. Give me some of this vivacious instant hand sanitizer. What score of the girls game there, Wendy? Zero, zero. I believe it's... Half time there now? No. It's like the beginning of the end of the third quarter. K 
Canton sticking with their goalie. Like there goes Matt. Three uh, goals. Oh, Ooh, I believe that was a. Ball. I think that was Thumb a handball, sir. Thumb that whistle. That was a blatant handball. Good play by Drew. Ooh, I just had a call in. The score at that from what I'm watching for the girls is zero to zero. But Tracy DB, our um, roving roving reporter from the side, says Twitter it says the Easton's winning one zero. Nice. Can we have a uh, call on who scored that goal there, please, Tracy? Well, she's just watching it from Twitter, so. I'm not a Twitter person. I don't. I don't. I don't tweet. You're not a social media person, Kevin. I do like Instagram though. Oh. And Snapchat. Snapchat's quite hysterical. Yeah. I don't have Snapchat. Okay, in with Matt. Over to Anthony. Oh, it was Lauren Selmire. Thank you, Tracy. Lauren Selmire, the coach's daughter. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. She's a heck of a player. Hector with the kick in. Way back on the attack again. Pass. It looks like she got the goal with a free kick. Sounds like their game is just as competitive uh, as ours. Very aggressive. I know that it's Canton senior night for the girls. Emotional will be running high. Six minutes, 640, 38. Another kick in. Dylan Couples. Dylan the Colonel Couples. Yes. Lady Wendy demoted his father the other the other night. I didn't mean to. Oh. And what was that? Did I not a foul there, sir? Oh, I can hear Chico. <laughs> Chico is not a fan of the uh, refs tonight. Rumor has it. <laughs> and that is really a little, kind of some little bit of a I think that, ball going right there. I think that um, the refs let this game get a little out of control, I have to say. Oh, Oof, that's going to hurt. Is that another free kick? That, that was a handball? 5-19, 5-18. Or is this a corner kick? Looks like a Kobe kick in. Wait, man, I'm trying to hit bombs from the outside. Why not work the ball in a wee bit more? I think because they're collapsing in. They're allowing them into the box. They're being very good defensively. 4.37 to go. Katie DeVos moving it up. Captain and captain. You like that play when it's captain to captain. It's just kind of neat. I think that was another handball there, sir. But... Kevin fiddling, diddling with the pass over to Anthony. Fire that! Nope. Not enough oomph. Nice try, though, Anthony. Oh, it's a COVID, it's a COVID corner! 351 left, 350, 3 to 1 away. Your All Rams Tigers. What's the time? Ooh, three minutes. We're getting close to that two minute warning. 
Yet I've seen girls games that they stop the clock at five. I need to know why. Maybe it's different for the girls. I don't know. Over. Oh, oh, Matias. Oh, Matias, you got to lean over that ball a little bit more. Nice try, though. That was a laser. I think one of the defenders knocked it up there one. Maybe. But I was giving, 13. I was giving one of my coaching tips when like they would kick it up in the air. You'd say lean over the ball. Sure, sure. Was that over the fifty yards? That would be a covert kick penalty, not a penalty, but I kind of like when Matty Nigro, a blazing yeah. left-hander, sometimes he doesn't bend his back all all the way. So we'd say, Matty, bend down, and he'd just throw darts. He'll be toeing the rubber for uh, away this spring, along with my boy Ty Barboza. All right, in, 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 in. Can we get a shot in here, boys? Ty and Nate are actually at, at home and enjoying the broadcast. Oh, that's good. Hi, Ty. Tiny Fulford is as well. Hello, Nate. 224 left, 221. I believe that might have been a nutmeg that just happened. A nutmeg. One of the soccer terms we learned is last broadcast. 208, 27. It's time with the whistle and the clock stops at two o'clock. Two o'clock, two minutes. Okay. Again. Don't let him shoot, boys. Don't let him shoot. Now, Kevin, my limited soccer knowledge also, this is where I would go into a defensive shell. Definitely. Yes. Less than two minutes on the clock. I would play man to man and no shots. There Just like that. Nice. Right on up. All in. Here comes Maddie. Let's see a laser shot, Maddie. And go over to Kevin. I'm gonna find a little bit of a uh, keep, keep away, Wendy. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Kevin tries to flop it. <laughs> Did not win, Kevin. <laughs> Was a flop. Although he's still on the ground, so it might not be. Uh, he might have got the wind uh, knocked out of him. Yep, that's. I apologize, uh, Kevin. Yeah, that I'm wasn't sorry. a flop. Just... And illegally called flop. Yes. I bet you he got the wind knocked out on him. The way he fell kind of flat. Yes. The kids are getting a water break. I'm getting a water break. You had a water this whole time? Uh -huh. hmm. Listen, Wendy. Who's getting the call in? Who's that? I got the wine wars all day, so I'm yapping my, my uh, gums. Yes. I come here, I'm flapping my gums more. I need some water. My throat gets a little bit dry. I know. Ref's going to get control of this game. Billy Madison. You want some milk there, Sot Burns? I'd rather have a beer. Billy Madison. There goes Maddie with a nice kick up. That's Brady. Chico yelling for time. We didn't know the time, Chico. The clock stopped. <laughs> he, he just said, hey, Zeus. <laughs> cool, but kick in. Not a throw in, a kick in. Call for Easton. Jimmy Keene with a nice kick up. Ooh. Ooh, there was a little bit of a hug there. <laughs> oh, 
going for oh, oh. oh, that was a nice try. Nice pass. Here you go, Dylan. Got to be getting down to the uh, nitty nitty gritty. Jake McCabe, a little smile at uh, Matias's mom. Nice save, Drew. Good at position. Nice defense help. That's game. There we go. That's a wrap. Another game in the books for Easton.